guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to to episode 6 of Dance Dance the Stars. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. But see, I don't think they're gonna win. I mean, as, as much as I want Junpei to win for that performance, it was good. It was still some flaws, but it was still good overall. I don't know if they have that much to win, though. Stop it, you're embarrassing yourself in front of her. Yeah, so you're right. Mm -hmm. Here comes the mom squad. Mm. 
like okay hold up this scene with the moms is literally dance squad and uh -huh, dance moms and everything else in a nutshell like oh god Mm-hmm. He's right. Unfortunately. Exactly. He would have been wondering week after week why there weren't many kids in the class. Excuse me. This big leagues, big leads. Oh. Holy crap, do you see his thighs though? Oh my god. Oh, he pretty. Mm-hmm. 
still three months. <laughs> oh, my baby. Because the traumatic experience. We're just distracted. Music, you know, it happens. There you go. Completely different person, right? Oh. He's like a mini off. My baby, oh God. 
Yeah. So it might confuse them a lot more than anybody else. Remember, three months versus ones who's been doing it for years. Somebody was a little early. You you get you put like your all into the music, and, and, and I mean that's not bad. It's something that I really like about Junpei, but it does distract him a little bit. Oh. That's where you want to be. Jesus. I think after this is really lit a fire in his stomach and how he really truly wants to do this it's like he's not bullshitting anymore it's just like let's go let's do this I'm serious hell even last week Yeah, but you might want to after that. No. Yeah. But uh, be 
maybe. Bro, he murdered you last week. Freaking murdered you. Seriously, what? oh my god, he looks so cute right there. Stop it! Oh my god, no. Stop. Stop. No. So, don't do this. Like, oh my god. Like, I mean, cause going back into the last week and coming into this week, it feels like I'm watching two completely different, like, not only episodes, but shows in a way. I don't know why. I mean, but it, you feel bad for Junpei. But the thing is, like, as the old woman said, Junpei does get distracted very easily into the music. He, you know, puts his all in, like, trying to almost connect with the music, which is good, but still at the same time, it is very distracting when you're trying to, you know, like, almost, because with, I think with ballet, it's just about, like, multitasking and stuff. I mean, if you can multitask in anything, you can, in one thing, you can multitask in everything and such. But at the same time... It seems like a it, it's something that's kind of really like screwing him up. Now, do I think Junpei could still be in like the SS leagues? Yes, of course. If he really truly puts his mind to it, he can do anything that he wants to. But at the same time, I'm sitting here thinking like, okay, we're I'm thinking of like quote unquote episode wise. This is episode six, and I think this is probably going to at least be once again like a thirteen or maybe even twenty something episode series. Um. I don't know. It's been it's been a while since I last tried to really look up anything about how many episodes the show was gonna get, but I still like the pacing of it. Now with Leo, this is what I was kind of thinking. So when you know when he came into the room and he saw all the the guys looking at him, and he clamped up, um, of course the the PTSD everything his issues and it. Then when the old woman came in, I was kind of immediately thinking about his own grandmother and the situation that she put him through. And so I was sitting here thinking, like, is that his, is that? And I was like, okay, no, because we kind of got that answer kind of very quickly. But the fact is that, you know, Junpei wants this woman to, you know, acknowledge these two. Because, like, yes, you and I and everyone else who saw last week's episode will clearly stay and say that that performance between those two literally was the greatest. I will still say that even when this show is over. And I probably decide to end up continuing, like, manga-wise to see how this goes for them. That performance was beautiful. It was gorgeous. Like, the shots. The shots from last week were so freaking good that, like, I mean, I could have those as freaking wallpapers or just hang that ish up on my wall like every freaking shot and every scene was just glorious and just oh so much story driven like mm, pitch is worth a thousand words but at the same time you you just know that for both of these boys they can be more than what they are truly as of right now now going into more also last week and more into this week about Junpei's friend for the last few weeks, we, we saw him in a light where it's very similar how more, and it, it's still like this with the stereotypes of guys where it's like, okay, guys shouldn't show their feelings or like their girly-esque 
Esh side and stuff. And it, it's about, like, hiding your masculinity. It was funny enough because, like, one of the anime Twitter pages that I follow literally went in on him as a character and how, like, some people don't really like characters like that. Then another girl, um, I think I follow on TikTok, did the exact thing, same thing about his character and saying that it, it's sad that even till this day we kind of see that in society where, like, oh, if a guy likes something that girls are into, of course, like, majority of the guys are gonna be like, oh, like, you like something, and girly things like that, like, that's weird, and they're gonna, like, kind of bully the care, the person of it, which is what happened with Leo, and then when Junpei got into it, of course, um, that's what at the time destroyed their friendship, but now he's being very more supportive of of Junpei and his decision of doing and uh, of doing ballet and I love that because of the fact is he's like you know what and I think it was mainly because once he saw Junpei perform last week that was where it was like oh my god like he looks really good at this plus to the fact is when that one lady was talking smack about Junpei of course those two didn't see eye to eye so I'm ready I'm really excited to see like what else his friend is going to be in this story like how much more we're going to see him in this series and how much of a really good supporter friend role he's going to be for Junpei because, you know, in my opinion, actions speak louder than words. And so we're, we're getting little tidbits of it every single week. But I feel like by the end of this, like all of his friends that we've seen in the last few episodes and weeks will all come to this big performance for Junpei and support him as like, a friend because if you truly care about Junpei which they all do and love and support him even though yes they hated the fact that you know he quit soccer and everything but I think maybe because after that moment once he saw him he immediately went and told everybody else like you have to see Junpei dance and such like he is on another level like on the same level as Leo possibly even more we don't know that yet but it could be a possibility but yeah I really enjoyed this episode I, I'm just I'm really excited to see still once again to see what else is in store for baby Junpei and Leo because I love them both so much they're so fucking precious boys like oh and I want them to have everything I want to give them the world <laughs> like fucking everything so freaking bad but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 6 of Dance Dance Sister if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the natural squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 7. Bye guys!